Look at this position. This is what I mean by Francis Ngannou's throwing and doing things wrong. Now, Jarzinho thinks inside kick because it's landed. Francis takes that jab to close the distance, throws that big right hand. Technically, when you throw an overhand right like this, you usually want to keep your left hand at the chin because counters come. He misses. Jarzinho feels the win. He's out of position here. I mean, it's a wrecking ball going downhill. Jarzinho's trying to stay technical, and look at Francis. I mean, this is just a guy that wants to land. He misses big. Look, his feet are all crossed. He finds himself switching positions. Now, technically, Francis Ngannou did about as many things wrong as he possibly could in 20 seconds. But he finds himself on the right end of another highlight knockout. It's so important to look at Francis trying to be patient. But ultimately, he doesn't have the ability to just stay within himself. He just starts to go. This time he throws that left hand. That's something that they did so well with him in his prep this time. They said, Francis, everything doesn't have to get there. Short. Okay, up high two. Now watch him switch the target. Watch the jab now. Go to the body. That's why he was able to close the space so well. Because he gave Stipe top, top, bottom. Now he recognizes, okay, I'm in range. And boom, right hand. Generally, when you get Francis Ngannou here, and he lands a shot like this, he just bull rushes you. Watch the fight against Jarzinho. Watch the fight against Blades. But watch. He'll just go back to his distance. I've got him hurt now. I'm sure I'll get more chances. So he gets back to space. I'm telling you, man. Calm Francis is about as scary a human being as they have in the entire world.